YouTube, welcome to another GIMP Know How tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to, uh, this is a GIMP 101 tutorial by the way, uh, how to composite an energy ball uh, type effect that you can later put in your own images, like in a hand or something. Uh, now, ironically enough, well, not ironically, I guess, but uh, I was going to actually show you how to make this icy text like I have in my profile, but I actually forgot how to make it. I mean, I, I remember the general steps and I tried to repeat them, uh, but I didn't get anywhere close to my results. So, if I remember the ice tutorial, I'll make a text. I mean, I, I'll make a tutorial on the ice to on the ice text. Um, but chances are probably not. So, uh, energy ball tutorial. By the way, I chose intro number two, made by Boskenart. His channel, his channel is now uh, featured on mine. So, to start with the tutorial. All right. So the first thing we need to do is go file new, and I'm going to make a new image, just 640 by 400. That'll do fine. Now I'm going to go filters, render, clouds, solid noise. And now I'm going to tone the X size and the Y size all the way up and then just click new seed. Now I'm going to go colors, levels, and this just affects the amount of black and white shown. And on the top slider, I'm going to slide the black level up and the white level down a little bit. So you get something like this. Now, because I guess the color doesn't really matter in the end, but I like working with blue colors, I'm going to go uh, colors, color balance, and then I'm going to tone up the blue and green, and then click on shadows, and then tone up the blue and green as well. So you get something like this. Now, finally, go on highlights, and then tone up the blue and green as well. And you get a very uh, amorphous, uh, energy-looking thing. Alright, so now we need to go filters, uh, blur, motion blur, check radial, and then for the angle, I'm going to go hmm, 65. Let's do that. Now we need to add a light source to this main spiral. So we're going to go filters, light and shadow, lighting effects. Now, your dot will start somewhere up here, and you want to move your dot right to the center. Then you can leave everything else on default, then click OK. Uh, now we want to add a little more depth to this beginning energy ball. So we're going to click OK, and then we're going to click Filters, Render, Clouds, Plasma. And I'm going to tone the turbulence all the way up, and then just click New Seed, and then click OK. Now I'm going to go to Colors, Desaturate, which makes the image just black and white. Then I'm going to click OK. Then I'm going to go Colors, Levels, just like we did with the solid noise. And I'm going to tone the black levels way up. And then just click OK. Alright, now I'm going to go Filters, Blur, Motion Blur. And it's, we're going to set it on Radial and keep it like that and then click OK. Now we're going to take this layer mode and set it on overlay, and then maybe duplicate it, except on the duplicated layer I'm going to go color, color to alpha, black, just to make sure it doesn't get too dark. And then maybe duplicate that, and tone it down just a little bit. Alright, so we have the basis of our energy ball now. Uh, now we're going to do something I generally frown upon, but, you know, it, it's, it works in some situations. We're going to go Filters, Render, Nature, Flame. Oh my gosh, how could I be doing this, right? Um, but no, we're just going to make it to add an element of randomness to this uh, effect. So I'm going to change my foreground color to a blue and my background color to like a teal, and then click OK. So on this flame window, I'm going to click the Edit button and then I'm going to uh, check spherical and then click randomize and click randomize until you find a fairly nice looking flame alright and then position it so it's in the center right by the light source and then okay it. and I'm going to set this layer mode on overlay now I'm going to duplicate the flame layer except go filters, blur, gaussian blur on the bottom layer. I'm going to blur it by about 10, then click OK. 
All right, so now we have this kind of element of randomness in here, and do the same with like three more flames. Once you have all your flames in place, you you should start to get a sufficiently uh, good looking energy ball. Except um, I think this middle is a little too uh, over saturated, uh, and I want to smooth that up a little bit. So I'm going to take the fuzzy brush and on some of the black layers, I'm just going to erase in the middle. Yeah, that looks much better. All right, so uh, now to uh, to make it look really good, we're going to go layer new from visible, and this makes all the visible layers just bunched into one new layer. Now I'm going to take the gradient incandescent, which is right here. Then we're going to go colors map gradient map. So now we have um, a pretty nice looking fire or energy ball. You could also keep it blue. Uh, now, if you want to put this on an image, what I recommend doing is uh, making all of these layers transparent. And then going to color, color to alpha, black. And then um, erasing the edge so we get a soft edge. Uh, now it doesn't look as good without a black background on it, so I'd recommend the picture being relatively dark, and that'll make it look a lot better, because as you can tell, it doesn't look near as good without a black background. So, um, I'm going to make a new background and just make it black, because then it looks oops, ever so much better. Alright, so uh, thank you for watching this Energy Ball tutorial, YouTube. Um, Go ahead and subscribe if you liked it, don't if you don't, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.